install day for the seats here. Um, let me do a quick close up outside of the seats. So the model is the Sparco R100. They're about $330 um, and it was free shipping. I got these um, these uh, sliders from a buddy of mine for like 50 bucks. I think they go for 80 brand new. And then this uh, seat base, I think was like 150 or so. So total, probably looking at about $500 for everything combined. So nothing too crazy pretty straightforward i do wish the side bill steering was a little bit tighter um the only thing i'm afraid of is whenever i had the seat just sitting on the base it did seem high obviously it's not in the car so it's a little bit different but um i had the same issue well i have the same issue with the 240 where it feels high i mean i'm okay with it but i do wish it was a little bit lower um but let me show you guys what's in the car right now i, I, I kind of really like these they're <laughs> the side bolt seems really nice and tight and it feels pretty low, you know? Um, but the problem is, so these are the FRS brackets as well. And they do not line up one bit. So I only have one bolt sitting in there right now, it's a little sketchy. Uh, what's upsetting is, you know, those seats work so well. They, they even have the, you know, the airbag plug, cause Toyota, you know, overall I really like these, but to get them to fit, it's just a little bit more work than I'd like to do. So, so. the orientation, uh, pretty much, you see these little humps here. Um, those go on the seat side. And obviously, you want to make sure that it's on the right way. These go up. Basically, I slid this slider forward so I can get to this bolt here. And then, well, I guess I need to slide it further. But basically, you want to put the bolt through there and onto there like that. So let me, let me try and slide this a little bit more so I can gain access to that there. All right, so you see that here? finally exposed so we're going to put that on the car or on the seat sorry just make sure you put in the right orientation um, the flat side should be on the bracket side and a little hump should go to the seat so uh, with the way it goes up here that should be the right side so you're going to put that on the left hand side of the seat here and you pretty much just put it in the little screw hole with the hump and make sure this goes up on the inside and you want to screw it on i got these at home depot um I think it was like 10 bucks. The place I ordered it from, OG Racing, they have a whole kit I did not know um, that comes with everything. So I could have ordered everything. Now we're gonna pretty much just feed the longer bolts here into this into the seat rail right here through here and then we're going to put the seat base onto the slider there i literally have no idea why it was such a pain but you just got to make sure both rows are even on the seat um and then i try to even it out as best as i could nice and even in the middle um okay so now i'm gonna go over to the car and on a normal car obviously you'd have all four 14 mil bolts on each corner of the seat and then you'll have a couple plugs underneath you just need to unplug that's about it so we're going to take this out and then we don't forget the belt buckle or whatever you call this the truck i don't know um but don't forget that as well um i think it's a stud on factory stuff so you're gonna have to source your own little bolts here but this is an m14 by 35 i believe bolt uh it's a perfect size no wiggle room for the most part there um these washers here i'm going to put on both sides I couldn't find M14 washers, sadly they didn't have it, so I had to use half inch. A um, little bit of wiggle room, but it'll be fine. And last but not least, a little lock nut washer, or lock nut, nylon lock nut, there you go, to hold it in place, nice and tight. Um, it's a little bit close, but we should be okay. All that's left is pretty much just bolt this seat in, so let's do it.
the seat does feel high. Um, not as high as the Mia, uh, the 240, which is good. Um, cause the 240 felt like it was like up here. Um, but I've got another maybe two inches. Um, but it's still higher. Um, it sucks cause I was getting used to driving with the FRS seat. <laughs> Around my, uh, I don't know what the back part of here is. Um, those are fairly tight. Like that's what hits every time, which is great. I just wish the waist was tighter. Um, but otherwise it feels good and three hundred dollar reclinable sparko seat that's not bad you know also this little clip came this little it just it's a it's the um reclinable portion you just clip it on literally you've got one on both sides but yeah everything's good to go so cool anyways thanks for watching i appreciate it see you in the next one